So we'll begin. So we are starting by stopping. Stopping whatever you were doing before to be here now, to be a little bit more in the realm of being than doing. So you can think to yourself, I am free to be, to be here now. There's nothing I have to change or fix. I am free to be just as I am. So start off by paying attention to the surface that you are resting on. So for those of you in the kind of traditional constructive rest position, you'll notice the support of the floor beneath you. So notice in particular your weight bearing points of contact. So that might be the back of your head resting on the books, the back of your shoulder blades and the back of your rib cage on the floor, the back of your pelvis, might be a bit of the back of your arms or elbows, back of your legs if they're resting over something, or the soles of your feet resting on the floor. So just notice that contact and whatever that contact is for you, know that the ground is supported, is supporting you, that you can be, while alert, physically at rest right now. So think to yourself, just lightly, I am free to accept the support of the ground and I am free to receive the support of the ground. And from that place of support, expand your awareness out now to include the space around you. So you can just know that there's space above you and below you, the space behind you and in front of you, the space to the right and the left of you, and the space in every other direction in between, and you are at the center of your own space. So you can just think lightly to yourself, I am free to be aware of the space all around me. So now, I want you, or I'm going to invite you to do a little scan of yourself and see what you notice. Just quickly, not trying to do any long um, feeling process, just lightly and see what comes immediately into your awareness about your own physical body. And if you notice that you have some areas that are uncomfortable or bothering you or maybe even painful in some way, um, just see if you can meet that with a little gentle kindness and acceptance. And of course, if it would help you to move or reposition yourself, um, wriggle a little bit in some way, you're free to do that now too. And of course, at any time uh, during the session. So now do another little scan. And this time I'm gonna invite you to see if you can notice places that feel a little bit more comfortable at ease than those that you might've noticed at first. So think to yourself, I am free to notice ease, any ease at all, 
in my feet, my heels, my ankles, my toes. I am free to notice ease, any ease in my legs, in my calves, my shins, my knees, my thighs. I'm free to notice any ease that just might be there, even just a little bit in my hips, in my low back, my mid back, my upper back. Free to notice ease in my belly, my solar plexus, my chest, any ease that is there. I'm free to notice ease in my arms, in my elbows, in my wrists, my hands and my fingers and my thumbs. I'm free to notice any ease in my neck, in my throat, in my face, jaw, cheeks, forehead. I'm free to notice any ease in my head. Think to yourself, I am free to notice ease. So now we're going to bring a little bit of awareness to our, um, our kind of traditional five senses, the five senses we learn about at school. And in fact, we've already been kind of touching on one of them, and that is touch. So when you are noticing your contact with the floor or whatever you're resting on, you are noticing in part what you are touching. So now deliberately bring your attention to whatever you are touching and know that it's not just our hands that touch, it can be your feet or your back or the back of your head, whatever part of you is touching something else. And you could include in this awareness that whatever you are touching is also touching you. So it's a two-way process. What do you notice? So now let's move to our sense of sight, of vision. So if you have closed your eyes um, for the constructive rest, you might, at least for this little portion of it, um, enjoy opening them and allowing your gaze just to fall where it naturally does, I guess, right in front of you. And as you look out and um, see whatever's in front of you. Notice that you're, you are actually receiving those visual images, that they are coming to you. You don't have to go out and grab them, but you are free to receive these images. You are receiving them. And this is how you perceive them. And if you wish to explore a little bit more about what you can see, feel free to move your head or move your eyes. You could notice what comes into your peripheral vision, how, how wide and open a focus can you have? Think to yourself, I am free to see. And now, what can you hear? I'll pause for a moment and let you just take in and see what sounds you receive, what sounds you perceive. Maybe something that you hadn't noticed before will come to you. Again, including in that idea of hearing, of listening, is this idea of that you're receiving whatever comes to you. It's that openness. You're not trying to hear anything in particular. 
you're open to what you can hear. And now let's move on to our sense of smell. For this one, you might want to just lightly bring your hand up in front of your face and see if you can just by lightly breathing in what smells and fragrance you might perceive or receive from your hand. What do you notice? What do you perceive? And then last of all, let's include our sense of taste and just kind of be aware of any lingering taste that might be in your mouth from something you ate before. Just notice. We don't often pay attention to it when we're not actually eating or drinking. But there may be something there that you notice. What do you perceive? Before we finish, I'm going to take us on a very brief little imaginary journey with these five senses. So I want you to imagine a beautiful, ripe, yellow lemon in front of you. You can see it, you can see the vibrant color, you can see the shape and the detail. Imagine it, what do you, what can you see? You can imagine touching it, the texture, the weight, maybe it has some give, the density. What, what can you imagine about that? And now imagine that you're cutting this lemon in half. You can hear in half. You can hear the sound. You can see the uh, the juices. You can bring it close to you and smell that bright citrusy smell. And you can taste it. Put a little bit on your tongue and imagine that sweet, tart, juicy lemon flavor. What do you notice about that? And what do you notice about even going through an, an imaginary journey with your senses? So think to yourself, I am free to notice. I am free to feel and experience and enjoy all my senses. I'm free to receive and I'm open to receiving sensory input. I am free to perceive with all my senses. You may also notice your breath. You could think to yourself, I am also free to breathe. So coming back now to your contact with the floor, to the floor that you are touching with your body or the chair, if you're sitting, whatever you are resting on, notice that contact. Notice if anything has changed from the beginning of this session. It doesn't matter whether it has or it hasn't. It's just a matter of awareness. And you can think to yourself, I am free to receive the support of the ground. I'm free to be aware of the space all around me. I am free to Notice ease, I am free. Before we finish today's session, I wanna to share a quote with you 
that I've found myself extremely um, fond of, let's say. And this comes from David White, who's a poet and philosopher. And the, the quote is, to rest is not self-indulgent. To rest is to prepare to give the best of ourselves. So that is what you have done for yourself today. So as you um, start to move yourself now um, out of the constructive rest position, whatever that's been for you today, see if you can include all or some of your five senses, maybe in a way that you wouldn't normally do. What can you see? What can you hear, smell, taste, touch? What do you perceive? And as always, you can bring back this thought to yourself. I am free to notice ease. 